it's they're really fine. I mean, they're actually really great animals to own as pets. It's just you really have to get over how long their tails are. <laughs> if you say so. This is. Welcome to another week of crazy news of the week here with John and Adrian, or Adrian and John as we like Adrian to call Adrian and John it. as we like to call it. Um, for our first story, there is a San Francisco restaurant that offers a special dining experience. Let's get into that. There's a California tourist attraction that's offering guests the opportunity to dine with live rats as its pop-up rat cafe. Guests can sip their coffee while seated at a bistro-style table, nicely draped with red and white gingham tablecloths, all while being surrounded by rats. And to do this, you pay the special price of $49.99. $49.99 too. But that does include the pastry, beverage, and admission to the dungeon attraction, um, but it also gives you that unique dining experience at the Black Rat Why Cafe. is this an attraction? Rats are, you know, they're actually very clean creatures. They, they clean themselves. They don't really need baths too, too often. They don't smell very bad. Um, and they're very intelligent creatures, but now you can eat with them. If, if you want to, if that's, if that's- I would eat with them. I miss my two fancy rats. So, Walmart. We already know there's there's a full like page of like the crazy people of Walmart. They even have a book in the bookstore about it. There's weird things happen at Walmart uh, every week. And this week is no exception with a deer somehow finding its way into a Walmart. I can only imagine, like you're walking through Walmart, trying to shop or something, and all of a sudden you see a deer. What do you do? We were in the pet aisle and we heard what sounded like shelves falling, then a woman screaming, um, he told uh, Care TV. We rushed to help, and that's what we saw, a deer was on the loose. It felt like I got slugged or something. I figured I was bigger than the deer, so I'd win that wrestling match. <laughs> only at Walmart. One has to ask, how did the deer make it through the front door? It came through the garden center, the motion door. So like that outside where the garden center is, somehow it went through the motion doors. <laughs> I don't know, if I saw a deer, I might just be like, all right, and just walk away. I mean, I don't know how I would approach that. So my cousin Carlos, his haircuts are pretty flaming, but this, this takes it to a new level. In the name of style. What is he putting on his hat? Oh God, no. It's a technique that Hanafi says he learned after watching a YouTube video showing a Pakistani barber using a similar technique. Hanafi uses a blowtorch and hair products to literally light his clients locks on fire to straighten their hair. But uh, this is taking it a little too far in my opinion. It is. Oh. I've seemed to lost my host. Joke time! No! <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, God. You would have literally burned me <laughs> on fire. You would have literally... You would have literally burned me. This is not a spray. This would have, like, launched at my face. It's not funny. <laughs> I got carpet remover now on my arm, probably in my drink. Been nice knowing you too. Since 9-11, Homeland Security has locked down anything, anything that could be as a target um, for terrorists, including the Golden Gate Bridge. But somehow, some teenagers in San Francisco figured out how to bypass all of these barriers that the that Homeland Security, the FBI, set up, and were able to take a YouTube video of them climbing and doing ridiculous stunts with no safety gear on the top of uh, Golden Gate Bridge. It's crazy, yeah. So here, let's watch Let's this. take a look. <laughs> Bridge climber. I feel like San Francisco was just kind of hoping that people aren't that stupid. Well, you know what we have to do now, John, to get our views up. Do some, uh, some parkour. Go to the Columbia River Walk and just Hang from, the Hang from the side. Well, that's it for this week. If you guys have any crazy videos or crazy news stories that you would like for us to report on, go ahead and send it to us. Go like our page on Facebook and you can message us those stories there and we'd be happy to take a look at them. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a great week. See ya.
Aaron and she talks 